We are fundamentally interdependent. This is the nature of things. This is not only just us. This is reality at large, which is interdependent. This is the biosphere and all species which are interdependent. This is the whole universe that is interdependent. So therefore, we should not be tempted to act as if we were separate entities uh, that will momentarily interact like uh, snooker balls and then separate. We are all in in the same boat. And so how to relate this notion of interdependence, uh, not leave it as a kind of um, philosophical ID, but how is it very much in the flesh of our day-to-day -day preoccupation? Well, if we look deep within, even though we may have different ideas of how to become happy and uh, avoid suffering, but fundamentally, deep, deep within, we all want, we all prefer, prefer if to the extent that is possible, to avoid suffering and the causes of suffering. That's clear. At the same time, we also wish that we could enjoy well-being, flourishing, thriving. So, it doesn't take rocket science to transport oneself in others, uh, fellow human beings' consciousness and to say, well, even though they have different ways to f try to fulfill their wish to escape suffering and find happiness, nevertheless, that basic aspiration is there. And we can extend that even to other sentient beings, all the 8 million species which are our co-citizens in this world. Yes, definitely. They try to avoid suffering, they try to preserve their moral and their, their feelings of uh, well-being and their physical integrity. So on the basis of that common aspiration, we can say we, are, we share that common humanity, that common sentience, that common goal of avoiding suffering and finding well-being and happiness. So then, of course, people may have very different ideas where to find happiness and we may err and be confused and deluded about that. And if we think that we will find happiness in more and more and more wealth, power, fame, physical beauty, eternal youth and so forth, the likelihood that we will achieve happiness is as, as good as winning the lottery. So we need also to find to look for happiness where it is, in the right place, which is more in the quality of human relationship, which is more in our inner world of emotions or emotional balance, which is more about cultivating positive effect and wholesome states of mind like benevolence, compassion, altruism, inner freedom, inner peace, rather than anger, resentment, jealousy, arrogance, and the, and the like. So once we know that, then we can uh, sort of attune our endeavor to make better outer conditions, not so much by seeking the lures of uh, deceitful happiness, but trying to make a, a world that is more balanced in terms of environment, protecting nature, protecting other species, taking care of our human brothers and sisters. So all that uh, makes that we can have a unified vision of our inner freedom and how to somehow together build up a better world. So we have seen that government uh, facing this pandemic can take drastic measures. Half of humanity now is in confinement. So if they can do so for a pandemic that is tragic, but it's still not the end of the world, then they should all the more do so for challenges which are somehow much more long-lasting and serious, such as the question of climate change and the environment, that could bring unthinkable, unthinkable suffering if we don't do anything. So all the scientists which we should listen more to say it is still possible, we can do it. They have to say that because there are ways to do it. But this being said, they also say this needs a drastic change of our way of living. So we can see today that we are certainly applying drastic changes in our lives. So maybe we should take the lesson of that. And instead of continuing to continually race 
towards more consumption, more this, more that, we should probably do better with less, to be more satisfied with the voluntary simplicity, a more enjoyable life that is not entirely based on gadget and possessions and things like that, but on cultivating and sharing fundamental human value. So let's hope that this alarm, which is this pandemic, and the lesson will not get lost, that will not, will not rush to come back as the same as before, but we will use that opportunity to consider in depth the societal change that needs to be made towards sort of better humanity, better relation with the other species, better relation with our environment, and so possibly together, through cooperation, not reckless competition, build a better world for a better future. Good luck.